Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. If you don't know me, I am Rakesh Nigan. I am an aviation enthusiast. Today we are going to discuss about the guidance modes of FMGS, that is Flight Management Guidance System. So before we start, note two points. First point is the main computer of FMGS system, that is the Flight Management Guidance System, is FMGC, that is the Flight Management Guidance Computer, which are present two in numbers. Second point to note is each FMGC has two parts. One is called as the FM part, that is the flight management part, and the other one is called as FG part, that is the flight guidance part. In today's session, we'll focus more on the flight guidance part as we are going to discuss about the guidance modes of FMGS. Okay, so let's go ahead. The flight guidance part of the FMGC controls three things, autopilot, flight director and auto thrust. These three things. Okay friends. Now out of these three, the autopilot and flight director, these two systems, they provide two guidance modes to guide the aircraft. And those modes are managed mode and selected mode. So I'll write those two modes over here. What did I tell? Managed mode. And the other one is selected mode. Selected mode. Okay friends, this one is clear. Next. What is manage mode? In manage mode, the data which the pilot enters into the MCDU is taken as reference by the computer to steer the aircraft in lateral, vertical and speed profiles. And remember that friends, in manage mode, it is the flight management part of the FMGC which computes the guidance target values. Okay. Next, what is selected mode? In selected mode, the target values which are selected by the pilot and also which are displayed on the FCU window are used as a reference by the FMGC computer to steer the aircraft. Okay friends, so I hope you are clear what is manage mode and what is selected mode. Now whenever the aircraft is executing these modes, manage mode or selected mode, how will a pilot come to know about it? how will a pilot know whether the aircraft is getting guidance from the managed mode or selected mode okay so the answer is fmh flight mode annunciators through the flight mode annunciators which are displayed on the pfd the pilot can identify whether the guidance to the aircraft is in managed or selected mode so now we will discuss what all are the managed mode fmas and what all are the selected mode FMAs for the vertical profile, lateral profile and speed profile. Okay, so let's start with the vertical profile FMAs or flight mode annunciators. So I'll write here, vertical, okay, vertical profile. So for the vertical profile, the FMAs are I'll write them down here, okay? SRS, Climb, CLB, Descent, Alt, CST star, there's an altitude constraint capture mode, Alt, CST altitude constraint hold mode, alt cruise mode, glide slope star, GS star, GS. Okay, I'll continue here. The remaining vertical mode profile FMAs. I'll just draw a line here and I'll write here GS star, GS vibrant. Next, final. Final approach flare and TCAS. So, friends, all these FMAs which I have written here 
are the managed mode FMAs and they are of the vertical profile. I mean to say all these FMAs they appear in the second column of PFD. Note that friends, I have discussed about all the FMAs which can appear in the second column and third column in my some other session for which I'll share the link below to check it. In today's session, I'm just discussing amongst all the FMAs which can come in the second column and third column, that is the autopilot and flight director modes amongst all of them. What all are the manage mode FMAs and what all are the selected mode FMAs. So right now I have written down all the manage mode FMAs for the vertical profile. So likewise, I'll write down here all the selected mode FMAs which are there for the vertical profile. Okay friends, so let's start. So I'll draw a line here so that we can distinguish the manage mode and selected mode FMAs. Clear. So the selected mode FMAs for the vertical profile which appear in the second column of PFD are OP CLB, Open Climb, Open Descent, OP DES, Expedite Climb, EXP CLB that is Expedite Climb or EXP DES. Expedite in descent, vertical speed, FPA that is the flight path angle mode, all star and ALT alt. This is the altitude capture mode and the altitude hold mode. So I have shared the description of all these FMAs in my previous session for which I have shared the link below. Do check it. So friends, right now you are knowing all the FMAs which are there for the vertical profile for the manage mode and selected mode. Now what we will do is, now I will tell you about all the FMAs which are there for the lateral profile in manage mode as well as in selected mode. So let's start. I'll write down here lateral profile okay so I'll write the FMAs over here for the lateral profile I'll just draw a line here friends so in this area I'll write down all the FMAs which are there for the manage mode lateral profile okay these are runway runway track nav approach nav lock star lock that is the localizer that is the localizer capture mode and localizer track mode roll out and go around track mode so friends all these are the manage mode fmas for the lateral profile okay friends now likewise what are the selected mode fmas for the lateral profile so i'll write them down here okay so the fmas are heading track and that's it. so only these are the selected mode fmas for the lateral profile okay friends next let's discuss about the speed profile okay so what do we have for the speed profile so i'll write down here speed speed profile so again i'll put a separator between these modes so for speed profile how will be the manage guidance be the manage guidance is from the fmgc that means the fmgc is used as a reference to compute the speed profile in case of manage guidance mode so i'll write here fmgc reference so what does the fmgc do the fmgc data is used as a reference to compute the speed profile in managed mode or manage guidance mode now what about the selected mode in case of selected mode how will the speed profile be so for that the fcu is used as a reference FCU is used as a reference. Hence the conclusion 
in selected mode the flight control unit reference is used to calculate the speed profile so the fcu or flight control unit reference is used in the selected mode to calculate the speed profile so before i summarize the topic note that friends all the vertical mode fmas appear in the second column of pfd and the lateral mode fmas appear in the third column of pfd i have already discussed about this topic for which i have also shared the link below do check it out so now let me summarize friends what have you learned today we have discussed about the guidance modes in which i have discussed that there are two guidance modes one is manage guidance the other one is selected guidance what happens in the manage guidance mode in manage guidance mode the data which is entered by the pilot into the mcdu is used as a reference for calculating the vertical lateral and speed profiles okay and what happens in selected guidance mode friends the target values which are selected by the pilot and also the target values which are displayed on the fcu are used as a reference to steer the aircraft in vertical lateral and speed profiles after that we have discussed about all the manage mode fmas which can appear for the vertical profile and lateral profile on the pfd column 2 and 3 respectively for which i told the link has been shared below and after that we have discussed about all the selected mode fmas which can appear in the vertical profile in the lateral profile on the pfd column 2 and column 3 okay for which again i said i have shared a link below so do check the link below so i hope you are clear with today's topic i'll come up again with a new topic in my next session till then you enjoy learning this and if there are any doubts regarding this topic do comment below thank you